Welcome to the MFR Coaches Podcast, where we talk about how you can create a six-figure MFR practice. I'm your host, Heather Hommel. Not only have I been practicing MFR for 11 years, I'm also a life and business coach, especially for MFR therapists. My goal is for you to understand how to get fully booked, how to talk to your clients, and how to make sure they understand what's possible for them with MFR treatment. I'm here to help you stop under earning, overworking, and burning out. I'll lend support so you can create the MFR practice you've always wanted. Learn how you can do it too, even if you live in a tiny town, and even if you're just starting out, and even if you've ran your practice for years. Let's go. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the MFR Coaches Podcast. I'm your host as usual, Heather Hommel. I help you get fully booked in your MFR business so we can make MFR mainstream together. Let's talk about everyone's favorite subject. Let's talk about rejection and how this matters in your MFR business, how your ability to feel rejection, tolerate rejection, and still thrive, how that matters for your successful practice. Put your hand up if you love it when you ask a client if they'd love to come back for more treatment and they say no. I don't see any hands going up. And maybe that's because I'm recording alone in my office with my dog, or maybe it's because not one person loves to hear a client say no, right? Today's episode is going to be focused on why it's okay for people to say no and how you can get to a place where no doesn't bother you. And it certainly doesn't change your day. You might be thinking that's near impossible. And for many of you, it will be. But for MFR therapists that I work with, they get there. They get to unbothered by what clients say or do, and they change their businesses because of their ability to do so. I want you to know that this is possible for you. And the more you increase your tolerance to rejection of any kind, the faster and easier time you're going to have building your MFR business. Imagine this scenario. You've got online booking and a new client books their appointment. You're instantly excited and also terrified. You start thinking about all the things that are going to go wrong and you become increasingly nervous as the appointment time gets closer. Now we're at the appointment time. The client walks in, you give them the treatment and you ask if they want to rebook. They say no. You freeze. They leave and then you spend the rest of the day spinning out about this interaction and feeling bad about yourself. Now picture this. A client books. You're both excited and scared. You get coached about it. You decide ahead of time how you want to show up for the appointment and for the client. You stay in curiosity the entire time the client is with you, asking them questions and understanding exactly what they want and need from you and from MFR. You make them an offer to help and tell them what you recommend. You're clear and you're concise. When they say no, you ask them follow-up questions and also let them know they're welcome to come back whenever they want to, and you'll be happy to help them then. You're armed with tools and you complete an evaluation. You determine what went well, what didn't go well, and you decide what you'll do differently next time. You keep going and you keep evaluating. You don't spend time spinning out or making it mean that every client from now until forever is going to say no and that you're never going to be fully booked and you're never going to make money and you're never going to going to have a successful practice. You don't hide and you don't quit. You keep going, keep offering MFR and keep growing your tolerance to hearing no and to the feeling of rejection. You keep getting support and you keep getting coached. One day a client books, you feel neutral about it because it's just what people do. They find you and they book, they come in, you stay in curiosity and you tell them exactly how you can help them and what that looks like. You are able to do this because you've been doing evaluations after every single time a client has said no or said yes. This client says yes and you rebook them. You do another evaluation to find out what went well, what didn't go well, and anything you do differently the next time. You keep going, you keep doing the same process for both yes clients and no clients, knowing that you can continue to make your sales recipe and success recipe with each interaction you have, because both are valuable and both are necessary for you to improve. Hey everyone, it's Heather here with some exciting news. 
Are you ready to take your myofascial release practice to the next level and create a thriving business that feels easy and rewarding? Well, listen up because our 12 month foundations coaching program is now open for enrollment. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. From July 22nd to August 6th, you have the chance to join our comprehensive coaching program designed specifically for MFR practitioners. This isn't just any coaching program. It's your ticket to transforming your practice and your life. Here's what you get when you join the Foundations Coaching Program. Access to a self-paced course portal where you'll learn at your own speed with in-depth resources and materials. Weekly live coaching calls every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central where you'll connect with me and your peers for real-time guidance and support. Private weekly one-on-one written coaching. Get personalized feedback and advice tailored to your needs via your weekly report. A supportive and private Facebook group. Engage with a community of like-minded professionals and receive continuous support and coaching. We provide all the tools you need to get fully booked and ensure that you never under-earn or burn out. With our program, you'll build a business that feels effortless and you'll sell MFR with confidence, all while helping your clients achieve their best results. Imagine being a part of the movement that makes MFR mainstream and accessible to everyone. Don't miss this opportunity to transform your practice and join a supportive community of MFR professionals. Remember, enrollment is only open from July 22nd to August 6th, so act fast. Head over to www.themfrcoach.com forward slash foundation to learn more and secure your spot today. Let's make MFR a household name together. Now, which scenario do you like better, right? They both got a no, but one person has no ability to process that no or the rejection that they felt afterwards, and they kind of quit. The other person hears no, and they are armed with the tool set and the skills to both allow for that rejection feeling and still do the things that need to be done in order to get a different result. We think clients should just say yes. Like we have these skills, you should just say yes to us. If they say no, something's wrong with them, they're not committed, blah, 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 they're not ideal, or something's wrong with us. Only I want you to know that a yes or a no really means nothing about us or the client. It doesn't mean anything about their commitment level or their comprehension. It means nothing about us either. It might mean we can improve our sales skills, but it doesn't mean something is wrong with you. People and clients, they're going to say no likely far more often than they will say yes, especially in the beginning, until a certain point where things will change and you'll get more yeses. This happens because you get better at selling MFR and it can happen really quickly when you do things on purpose. When you get better and more willing to take risks and to make suggestions, when you get better at tolerating someone saying no to you and you don't quit, or you quit for much shorter periods of time. It's all of the micro quitting that happens over the period of the lifetime of your business that creates the stagnation, that creates the result of not being fully booked. The better you get at purposefully subjecting yourself to rejection and not making it mean anything deep about you, the quicker your business will grow. You'll develop your recipe for selling and talking about MFR, and you'll get so good at it, you will be unstoppable. Your business will be fully booked. You will create demand and you will help a lot of people. But this all starts first with your willingness to hear no, to feel rejected and to keep going anyways. And this is where coaching and being in my foundations program can be really, really helpful for you. Say you right now just don't have the tolerance to hear no. In my program, we will take you from that place all the way to being unbothered when you hear no. And it happens quickly, especially when you have the ability to have awareness about what's really going on with you. What is really creating your result of an unbooked schedule and what is really creating the opportunity for you to have a fully booked one. The more you hide, the more you try to protect yourself, the slower the crawl to fully booked will be for you. When you have awareness and support around rejection, you can easily see this happening and you can create tolerance and embrace any emotion you're having 
And it doesn't have to be solved in order for you to do so. You don't have to do a ton of work or go back to your childhood and repair things with everyone in your past life in order to feel rejection now and thrive in your business. My advice is this. Determine what emotions you've been unwilling to feel. Feel them. Process them. Allow them to be there. Know that you've gotten yourself this far in life and have felt those emotions the entire time, whether you wanted to or not. There is no avoiding them. Your ability to let emotions in and to be present is everything. Learning how to have awareness, the ability to feel emotions and process them, and allowing them to be there and still doing big things is huge. It's like a superpower to be able to do these things. Join my foundations coaching program today. You'll become a Jedi ninja master of this and a total badass in the treatment room and in your selling conversations. You'll get fully booked and you'll make more money than you ever thought was available to you. Let's make MFR mainstream together right now. Join us today. Enrollment is open from July 22nd through August 6th. Go to www.themfrcoach.com forward slash foundation. I'll see you in the program. And I'll see you next week on another episode of the MFR Coaches Podcast. Thanks for listening. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a minute and rate and review the podcast. I appreciate it. For more information, please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at The MFR Coach. And check out my website, www.themfrcoach.com for more information. If you are currently not working 20 hours or less and making six figures in your MFR business, I want to help you change that. Make sure you tune into the show and get on my email list so you never miss out on important trainings and information. To be the first to find out when we are enrolling next for my 12-month Business Foundations coaching program, get on that email list at www.themfrcoach.com backslash join. Inside this program, you'll learn how to raise your rate, overcome objections, and sell MFR. You'll become the MFR therapist that never under-earns and never burns out. It's up to us to make MFR mainstream, and it starts with you and your successful MFR practice. See you next week.